Welcome to Child Rights Art Education Series with Alakunle Sunny. Thank you for joining me. On today's edition, we'll be looking at Section 20 of the Child Rights Act. Parents, etc., to provide guidance with respect to child's responsibilities. This section says, Every parent, guardian, institution, person, and authority responsible for the care maintenance, or bringing, education, training, socialization, employment, and rehabilitation of a child has the duty to provide the necessary guidance, discipline, education, and training for the child in needs or its care, such as will equip the child to secure his assimilation, appreciation, and observance of the responsibilities set out in this part of the heart. So this section mainly speaks to the responsibilities of parents to provide guidance to uh, to, to their child, enabling them, enabling children to play their role and uh, become responsible children. In uh, in ensuring that children become uh, play their own part as regards their own. Uh, responsibilities because to every right there is also uh, responsibilities that, co that, that, that come um, with it so this section is just trying to say to every parent every guardian all the institution which are focused on children or person and authority who has responsibility to take care of children that they should ensure that they, they have to ensure they should ensure that the child is properly guided in an appropriate way that do not say the institution will not say uh, because this is uh, this child is just in our care and the parent then we don't have any responsibility to guide or to discipline the child appropriately it means that this section is trying to say everyone and that is why we say in child protection child protection that's why we say in child protection that it is a collective responsibility to protect the child because this is what part of what this section is trying to say that every parent every institution all those that have responsibility of care towards children that they also have the duty to ensure that children are guided to be able to um, fulfill their own parts i mean their own responsibilities as enshrined in section 19 of this constitution i mean of this um of this act so it means that children also have responsibility but adults also have uh, adults also have responsibility to ensure that children fulfill their responsibilities so that's what this section is trying to say he said that children have the responsibility yes but it is not enough for us to leave them to carry out these responsibilities without any form of guide guidance or without any form of um support so now his section is basically saying that and as adults we also have as institution we also have as an um, education setting as a voluntary home as a shelter as you know as individuals generally that we all have responsibility to guide children to be able to play their role and be able to fulfill their responsibilities towards the family towards the community towards the society, towards their school, towards their friends, towards their mates, towards other people, towards the global world, the global village. They all, they are, that before them to be able to fulfill this responsibility, we, we as adults also have a role to play. And then that it will not be enough for you to just say children should be given responsibilities. Yes, and this Child Rights Act has given children responsibilities. Now, it's not for the adult to rise up to the occasion and ensure that children are supported to be able to play their role and fulfill their responsibilities towards their society, towards their family, towards themselves, and towards um, every every facet of the society. So uh, thank you. This is, um, I hope you join tomorrow. I'll come again with um, section 21. Thank you.